Hello, Adam Bazalgette here, founder of Scratch Golf Academy. Today's subject, three tips to help you hit those irons more consistently. Got some ideas for you. There's a lot of variables, obviously, but got three things. I think if you do these in the backswing, they'll really help, and I'll have feels and drills associated with each. Well, very briefly, if you're new to Scratch Golf Academy and you've never subscribed, really appreciate it if you do that. Also, if you do subscribe, we'll get your free content coming. Hit that little red bell. You get notified every time a new video is coming out. Okay, key number one in my book in the backswing. That's Davis Love on the left. Let's take him to the top of his backswing. Let's take Bryson DeChambeau to the same spot. Stay centered with your upper body. It doesn't mean there's not pressure in your back leg, but you want to keep that body, that upper body, nicely centered there, it is much, much easier to get back to the golf ball than if you get way behind it. Let's have a look at, say, Jessica Corda. Let's put her at the top. Again, nice and centered, ball pretty much underneath her body, much easier for irons. Okay, a great way to work on that is just take a coat hanger and bend it and place it so that the end of it sticks out over the golf ball. There's plenty of room for your club. What it creates, though, is a scenario where I can see the coat hanger, from my perspective, I'll show it to you in just a second, splicing the golf ball. So if I move, I immediately sense a change in that relationship. It is a great way to sit and work on staying centered over the golf ball. Let me show you close up what that would look like if you did it for yourself. So that's the player's view. There's plenty of room for the club in there. And you'll notice if you move, you'll sense an immediate change in the relationship of the hanger to the ball. So number two on my list, don't let the arms get behind you in the backswing. That's Ben Hogan there. You probably recognize him. So we're saying to the side of your body here somewhere is where we want the arms. Let's have a look at Tiger Woods there. Talk about two good ones there. His swing's a little longer, it certainly depends on the player, but I think almost always you'll see the arms over there on the side. Now you might get a young player like Justin Thomas, very flexible, very slim, very talented. He would come pretty close, but I would say still on that side of the body. So unless you are very flexible and slim and coordinated, keep those arms more over where Tiger has is. It's a lot easier to get them back in front of you to hit the ball. Okay, well, the big distinction to me is this trail arm, the right arm for the right-handed golfer. That's the one that folds the most in the backswing. That's the one you've got to get right. Here's the, the, the distinction, if you like, I would make. I would not try to get the club head wide. I wouldn't get a wide takeaway. Medium is certainly suitable. It's as you hinge your wrist. That's where the problems come in. So it's really from about club parallel to end of the backswing that you're gonna have the job. And what I want you to feel, this trail hand, as it breaks, pushing out into that glove thumb. If you can, from this area to that area, keep some pressure out there, you'll have a good wrist hinge, you'll have a nice short arm swing in front of your body. Okay, number three for me, and if you get this one right, it's going to help you do the one we just discussed, and that is where is the club in the takeaway? The great majority of people get that club too active, it gets behind them, gets flat if you like. Number one, you're probably gonna to have to lift the club then to get it into position, and that's likely going to cause you to overswing. Number two though, once that club starts wobbling around and you're trying to correct for it, odds of hitting the ball solidly start to go down. So here's the drill I would recommend for that. Trail hand awareness. If I had a bug on that lead glove, and I was going to swing back a wee bit and smack it like that. I wouldn't roll this hand. It just wouldn't happen. It would have a slight arc, but it wouldn't roll. So we're going to take that trail hand, put it in front of the club, back of fingers against the shaft, and just practice a couple of little takeaways, just a foot, foot and a half or so. And you'll notice this palm's looking more in front of me. Again, matching that arc, nothing manipulated. And once you've pumped it a couple of times like that, grab it and try it again, you will have the right feel. You get this right, you can do the second one right, keep it wide and short, you'll be on your way to good iron play. Well, I hope those three tips are going to help you hit your irons more consistently. Appreciate a thumbs up if you like the video. Best of luck with your goal.